Okay, so here it is. It just came. Uh, SW X1. Uh, I'm a little surprised that it's not in a new box in the sense that the old box is uh, still says artillery, as you can see. Um, and it doesn't have the name change. And the reason why I got this and waited so long from China is that they assured me it would be a version 4. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll put it together and find out. Stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, this is the box. It's on the table waiting to get uh, opened. Um, I just hope it's exactly what uh, they told me. I, you never know what to expect when you order things uh, from China. You know, hopefully uh, they were truthful, so let's just open it up and see what it's all about. I'm sorry for the noise of the air conditioner, but uh, I, it's October 2nd, and uh, it's 90 degrees today <laughs> here in New York. So it's crazy weather, but it is just the same. So here we go. It's packed pretty well, that's for sure. Wow, all right. Um, and uh, you've seen unboxings of this before, but this is the installation manual. This is uh, a little information um, guide. It's in the German, I think, this one. Warranty card, read me first. Uh, something about the uh, properly connecting the flexible flat cable. There's been lots of problems with that. Uh, on the internet, I've seen lots of things about the cable, so it looks like they are giving you instructions on how to actually do that properly. Um, and there's a thing in there that says, do not remove until you finish, finish the assembly. So. Um, I'll take heed and do exactly what they say. So I'm going to start removing the other packaging material. Oh, very nice, blue anodized. I like the blue anodized finish. Now, I come from a Creality type of reality. Um, I, uh, I don't think their products are bad, but they need to listen to the community. I think a lot more than they are now. And uh, they have lots of different versions of their product line and it's extremely confusing just take a look to see what's available and you'll understand uh, sometimes the difference is only like a hundred dollars between the two different types and there's very subtle differences between them so I'm just taking out this looks like oh this is the case where everything is kept Put these on the side. More packaging material. I'll tell you, man, this thing is this thing is really packaged well. That's for sure. Now here is the base. Let me just check to see if there's a a fan on the bottom. Yes. 
Okay, so at least, at least this is, they told me this would be a version 4. So at least it's a version 3 that I can see. And there is the base. And here is the gantry. And we will start to put these together as per the instructions. So, let me get to it. Yep, so here it is. It's still printing. Got a lot to do, but it's quick. And you could tell it's silent. Storm is over, so... You're not hearing any background noise anymore. Um, it's just chugging away. I am so pleased with this new unit. You don't know. Um, the struggles I had with the CR10 S Pro that I purchased a while back, uh, right out of the box, there were so many issues for a Pro, for a Pro uh, unit that they claim was had all these wonderful advances. But when you get it, you realize that people were having so many problems. Um, it, it, it was a joke. And, you know, I bought my CR10S Pro to print TPU. And it was functioning for a while. And then, it, and then it didn't want to print it anymore. And I didn't change anything. The files were the same. The settings were all the same. Just didn't want to print. And I, I went over everything. I went on boards and they, everyone's giving me suggestions and then I met this guy um, and he was like a beta tester and he told me hey look you know there's an actual flaw in the design of the hot end and the only way around it is to do this thing that he showed me and it was some convoluted thing where you have to add um, a piece of um, uh, Bowden tube to the inside of the hot end and you needed a washer and you needed to readjust the bottom height of the nozzle. It was odd. And then he said, yeah, this is going to last for about five to six months and then you got to do it all over again. I'm like, no, thank you. This is crap. Another thing that I have to do with the CR-10S Pro. So that's when I heard about this artillery and, you know, I heard like versions one and two. And then they came out with three, and it was getting closer to what I would really like as a printer. And then version four, everyone was really happy with. And I said, okay, you know, I'm going to put my dollars down, and I'm going to get one of these. And I opted to, um, I opted to get one from China because those are the ones they weren't having fours here in the United States. So I opted to do. Uh, a, a, to get it from this guy George and he, he was really nice he spoke to me about all kinds of things uh, answered all my questions and uh, me, reassured me that the unit that I was going to get was uh, version 4 and sure enough here it is version 4 just spectacular I couldn't be more happier I'm going to try TPU later on just doing this test seeing if I need to make any adjustments this was the built-in test that it, that it has on the supplied thumbnail drive. And uh, I just, uh, I had one issue about loading the filament. I didn't want to force it into the, uh, the unit, but you know, people were telling me, yeah, just, just do it. And so, you know, just, I was just trying to be gingerly because I didn't want to break it the first hour that I had it. But um, other than that, it was flawless. The whole thing is flawless. Putting it together took no more than an hour because I was going slow and I was doing it methodically. I wanted to make sure that everything was perfect. And uh, now I would buy another one of these if I need one. I would never buy any other thing. Uh, forget about Creality. Um, I know their Ender 5 is pretty cool and their Ender 3 is all right. Uh, it does really wonderful prints, but for me, I don't think I'd go that route. I would absolutely get another one of these. So um, that's it. I hope you liked the video and uh, I'll show you some stuff uh, as time goes on. Take care.
and I'll make sure that you get the links to where I got it from in the description. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. So I hope the lighting is good, but uh, this is just an update. Uh, this this is uh, TPU printing here on the new uh, artillery, and uh, <laughs> it's flawless. Um, as you can see, uh, I uh, I have a side business, which is the reason why I have a 3D printer, and the side business is about shaving soap and. Uh, and bar soap and aftershave. I, I have a website. I make all that stuff. It's called Wet the Face. And uh, this is making my the mold I created in uh, Fusion 360. And uh, it's uh, printing out uh, with no problems. Now, I do have to say that filament makes a big difference. And the filament that I'm using here is this and I'm just gonna grab it and show you this is the filament that I'm using and I tried using this one which I bought just to see if I you know it was cheaper right this was a cheaper version and uh, lo and behold the uh, the printer it didn't like it it did it said like it said no go back to your old one and so I had a couple of these uh, laying around uh, not full spools and uh, I went back to them and sure enough bingo man everything just fell into place didn't have to change a thing just changed the filament so filament does matter and you can see this has been going for quite a while and again flawless no problems, no nothing. So I just want you to get that update that um, this is a phenomenal system. And uh, for me anyway, I highly recommend it.